Hi, it's me, Mom Shalen, and this is Related Rates, the application of implicit differentiation, and we are solving example number three. It says that a stone dropped in a pond sends out a circular ripple whose radius increases as a at a constant rate of four feet per second. After 12 seconds, how rapid is the increase in the area enclosed by the ripple? Let's do this little by little. So a stone is dropped in a pond and it sends out a circular ripple. So let's do that circular ripple. There we go. We have the circular ripple here. All right. And then next, the radius of the ripple increases at a constant rate of four feet per second. So this now, this... Uh, th this ripple, the radius of the ripple increases by how fast? By 4 feet per second. Next, after 12 seconds, so we have a given time. After 12 seconds, how rapid is the increase in the area enclosed by the ripple? All right, so after 12 seconds, T is... 12 seconds. I don't know how to show that in terms of the illustration. So let's write the given properly. So we know that it's a circle and the rate is, mm -hmm. so we have four feet per second. That means this is um, the change in radius. That is dr over d. T. Now, uh -huh. after 12 seconds, we know that time is 12 seconds. How rapid is the increase in the area? So we want to know the area. So this is feet squared because it's area. Second, and that's dA because it's area in dT. All right. But we don't know the measurement of the radius. How will we know that? Let's look at the problem again. It says that the radius increases at a constant rate of 4 feet per second. And meron tayong oras. Ang sabi, 12 seconds na daw ang lumipas. So how will we know the radius now, given that this is how fast, this is how fast it changes, and we know that it is 12 seconds already. How do we do that? Okay, very good. We multiply. So 4 times 12. So the radius now is approximately at 48 feet. And we're asked, how fast is the area of the ripple um, changing when it is at this radius already? So this gives us an idea of what formula we are going to use. We're looking for the change in area, therefore we are going to use the formula for the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. All right, so again, let's identify. Could we substitute anything here? Meron bang constant dito? Wala, ano? So let's begin with the differentiation. Differentiate. Okay, so we have d over dt times the area pi will just remain as pi times d over dt r squared. Let's get the derivative. The derivative of a will just be 1. So that's dA over dt. And it's equal to pi. Let it be there. The derivative of r squared is going to be 2r. And here this is dr over dt. And let's continue substituting. We're looking for dA over dt. Now we have pi times, uh -huh, substitute. What's 0 over dt? Oh, yeah. It's going to be 4 times 2. How about for r? It's 48. So dA over dt is going to be 
Let's multiply that. Five shift five times four times two times forty-eight. So I'll get three hundred forty-eight pi square feet per second. So this is one answer. Or another is the A over D T using decimals, you'll got one thousand two hundred six point thirty seven square feet. It couldn't fit. Let's move it. Square feet per second. Okay. And we're done. That's it. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed working on different word problems. Again, these are applicable to any and to most of your formula. We have a challenge item here, which is a cylindrical container. So you will just be using the formula for the volume of a cylinder here. This could also be applied in terms of area, in terms of temperature uh, of different formula, as long as you could have related rates then any formula will do here, depending on the problem. That's the applicability of mathematics. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that you learned something and enjoyed while learning. Bye!